2018 Chevrolet Bolt. It's all about the B. Early this year, Chevrolet introduced the highly anticipated Bolt, not to be confused with the Bolt I automaker's longer established Bolt. The all new Bolt, with a B, is an all electric vehicle, F. Chevy's Bolt, note the V, a plug in hybrid electric vehicle, PHEV, includes an all electric driving range of approximately 50 miles when fully charged before seamlessly switching over to an onboard gas electric hybrid powertrain. Bolt went on sale in 2010. Bolt calms the senses with no tailpipe odor, eerily quiet electric motor, and eye appealing exterior. With no gas to pump or 10W30 motor oil to periodically drain, Bolt delivers zero emission travel in impressive fashion. Bolt's compact body design falls somewhere between a five door hatchback and five door crossover. A surprisingly handsome design opting for stylistic enhances rather than futuristic hints, resonating better in person than what's conveyed via a two-dimensional photo. Long sloping front of pillars, about a 45-degree slat, frame an extra-large windshield, creating a large dashboard surface inside and spacious ambience. With no internal combustion engine, Bolt's comparatively stout and gently sloping hood disappears from driver's view. Looks alone don't do the front-wheel drive bolt justice. The 238 estimated miles when fully tapped, represents a significant charge forward, currently topping the charts. The first-generation Nissan Leaf F, 2011-2017, debuted with an electric range of about 85 miles. Leaf's 2018 second-generation reaches 150 miles, far less than the 2017 Bolt. Bolt's 238 range, estimated by the Department of Transportation and Environmental Protection Agency is just that, an estimate. When optimizing the regenerative braking process, more miles may get squeezed out. Regenerative braking captures and transfers friction energy back into the battery. Tesla, the upstart electric car company, continues hyping its first mass-market, all-electric offering, the Model 3 sedan with an expected price in the $35,000 neighborhood. Consumer sale of the Model 3 is expected by early 2018 whereas Bolt's on sale now. Tesla currently markets two low-volume, higher-priced offerings, the rear-wheel drive Model S sedan, $68,000 starting price and Model X crossover, $82,500. So far in 2017, U.S. consumers purchased approximately 65,000 all-electric vehicles, primarily from General Motors, Nissan, and Tesla. All sun electrics nationwide. Other automakers built and sell EVs, Toyota, Hyundai, Kia, but with a limited sales footprint primarily in California. Electric vehicle buyers currently benefit from a $7,500 zero-emission federal tax credit when itemizing income taxes. How long this financial motivation remains available is anyone's guess as the current Congress in D.C. hammers out a pledge tax overhaul. Illinois suspended its $4,000 of state tax credit in 2015. The 2017 Bolt arrived first in California, sagging to Chicagoland by midsummer, slightly ahead of the national curve, as most other regions waited patiently until August. Trim levels include LT and premium. Chevrolet predicts 2018 Bolts arriving to dealers early next year, with pricing unchanged from 2017. Expect minimal updates for 2018. Chevrolet's Bolt is built from the ground up as an all-electric creature utilizing an all-new unique platform. General Motors recently announced plans to launch 20 new electrified models by 2023. Bolt's 960-pound, 60kWh lithium-ion battery pack contains 288 cells, arranged in a flat pack design spanning the vehicle's entire length, resulting in well-balanced handling and flat floor rear seat area. It's covered by an 8-year slash 100 comma mile warranty. An enclosed, flat underbody streamlines airflow, improving aerodynamics. 
The 288 cells drive a single, high-capacity electric motor up front capable of accelerating Volt from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a peppy 6.5 seconds thanks to 266 pounds foot of low end toward front. How long does Volt charging take? The answer depends. During our 5 days of testing, a common, garage located 120 volt socket served as a power source, referred to as a level 1 source. With an average 4 miles of driving range per charging hour, it's a long slog to re-energize the system from an exhausted state. However, Bolt's battery never reached depleted status during our time together, adding about 50 miles of range for use the following day after each overnight session. A faster, more practical at-home option includes a 240 volt level 2, outlet most commonly used for washing machines. Several aftermarket companies install such garage ports with varying degrees of pricing, $500 to $2,000, depending upon rebate opportunities and special offers. Level 2 outlets reduce the peak of battery charging time to about 9 and a half hours. Public level 2 charging stations are sprinkled around the Chikagilin area, some free, others requiring a credit card, but remain few and far between. Another commercially based option, direct current, DC, fast chargers, providing 90 miles of travel in about 30 minutes. Our 2017 Bolt Premier included a starting price of $40,905 with most available extra. Options included $750 for internal DC fast charging provisions, $495 driver confidence package, automatic high beams, forward collision alert, lane keep assist, $485 infotainment package, wireless device charger, upgraded sound system, and $395 for orange burst exterior paint for a bottom line of $43,905 with $875 destination charge. An LT trim starts at $37,495.